If you or someone you know has diabetes, you may have built up an extra supply of test strips and lancets. That's where we come in. We'll buy the supplies that you don't need and resell them to those in need to prevent waste. Help us make diabetes management more affordable. Visit us at teststripswithaz.com. All right, we have Sabina Mazo on the show. What an impressive performance she had on Saturday night to kick off UFC 241, defeating Shada Dobson in Anaheim, California. Welcome, Sabina. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to the show, and I'm feeling great. That's great. And you are traveling around Los Angeles right now. What's going on out there? Pretty warm. A lot, a lot of people. And, of course, taking my family uh, around. They, they, of course, they live in Colombia, so... We try to take some time to to spend with them, you know. So we're a little less than 48 hours removed from UFC 241. How does it all feel after picking up your first UFC win, especially doing it in such impressive fashion? Feels great, you know, but um, also I, I feel like it's over and it's time to, to put work in and, 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 you know, focus on my next fight. And definitely I'm spending time with my family. They're here, but I'm, I'm ready to go back to the gym as soon as possible. I thought you got to showcase a, a really well-rounded game throughout the fight. You didn't give away the entire playbook either, which is even better, but you were able to do pretty much whatever you wanted in that fight. So kind of going back a little bit, what did you take away from your UFC debut? What kinds of things did you learn in that fight with Marina Moros that you're able to take with you for this fight and moving forward? You know, I, I feel I didn't trust enough of my skills and maybe because I was nervous or anything in my first fight. But, uh, and of course, Marina's an excellent opponent. It was a good fight. But I feel I didn't put everything I got in there, you know. And that's what I learned the most from my debut, that I had to give it all since the first moment, you know, and then dominate since the, the first moment. And that's what I did in this last fight. So, yes, definitely I, I learned a lot from, from the debut, but um, wanted to just dominate entirely. Finish the fight. I didn't got to finish the fight, but um, you know I want to reinvent myself, go back to the train to to be able to do that next time. You touched on how the fight is over. It's kind of in the past now. You're looking forward to the next one. You're ready to get back in the gym. Was that kind of the thought process after the fight with Marina? Just get right back in there, put it behind me, and move forward. A hundred percent. You know, for me, fight it's like the cycle of it. I, I reinvent myself. I do a lot of stuff. And I put the work in there, but that's it. You know, it's in the past. It doesn't matter if I knock out the girl or I don't. I feel I know that the, that I can improve. You know, I know the potential that I have. And of course, um, I didn't do what I wanted to do in my first fight, and that kind of also gave me more extra motivation to to just uh, uh, show it in this fight. And I I think the same feeling I have right now, but knowing that I can finish the fight not only dominate but finish a fight whenever I, I decide to do it Shauna is super tough as you saw firsthand you had her in some very tough positions on the ground in the clinch landing those knees especially in the third round you almost finished the fight several times did anything surprise you at all in that fight no she's amazing warrior you know she she handled very good the the pain the pressure and she didn't surrender you know and and that's impressive from any any fighter we are our own worst critics, right? Like, especially in the fight game, you fighters, you all take that notion of being self-critical to a whole different level. And of course, there's always room to grow and evolve in this sport. There's always something to take away from each fight. But overall, how would you grade your performance on Saturday night? My performance Saturday night, um, you know, I, I for sure I did the work I wanted to do. But like I told you, I feel, and we all saw that I could finish in many occasions the fight. And uh, it's just to read a little bit better the, the fight, to read a little bit better the other fighter, like their expressions. And um, yeah, because I had a lot of chances to finish it. In the first round, I remember also the last round with the knees. So it's kind of adapt and kind of learn from that. But I, I, I feel I, I did a, a good job of what I was trying to show in that fight. But um, yeah. We're always going to criticize our own work. <laughs> Absolutely. I spoke with Shauna a few days before the fight in Anaheim, and she had told me that the buzz in the area, the momentum of the card in that area changed as soon as Nate Diaz arrived on Wednesday. So being on a fight card with Nate, being part of such a huge event with these massive fights, these legends, what was that like for you? 
Man, the vibe was amazing. Since I got there, you could tell the card was gonna be amazing. All the fighters there, um, and it was it was amazing. It based off everything with the ideas, the big names, and one of the things that um, every time I see different fighters, it's, it's a great vibe. It's a great environment. I mean, I only have great uh, experience from what I what I have with other UFC fighters and with uh, UFC uh, members. You know, they they make it possible and they make it so um you know like like fun to be there the, the fight of the week even you're cutting weight but it's just um yeah it's, it's a vibe to to go to war what did you do after the win did you go out and, and get to watch the rest of the card somewhere yes yes i i was enjoying a little bit backstage i you know kind of talked with with my team with with everyone there and um and then watch the rest of the fights upstairs yeah what were some of your big takeaways from the rest of the card? I mean, you, you got the job done, you got the win, you can just sit back and be a fan the rest of the night. What got you fired up the most after your big win? Yeah, that, that's the best part. You know, for me, it was an honor to open the card, but also I was happy because I could enjoy the rest of the fights. I, I don't get to do that that much, so it's, it's, it was really cool. And um, one of the best fights, I, I think, it was the Juez Romero fight. I was just like, that was a... a hell of a fight you know that was an amazing fight both of them i thought joel had the, the victory but it was a close fight so uh for sure that was exciting to see and all of them but but that one in particular just like um like i liked it a lot any bumps and bruises anything of of note or concern heading out of that fight no injuries everything is good some scratches of course but uh yeah i, I think i'm ready to go back to the gym tomorrow Ideally, when would you like to return and build on this momentum of that win? Any particular card stand out to you that you'd like to be a part of? Uh, no particular card, but uh, it will be good to fight before the year ends. Anytime. I know that you spoke to the media afterwards. They were saying for you to, anybody in mind, you just said you want to take a step forward, climb the ranks, get to the title as quickly as possible. It's still a relatively new division and there's a good mix of veterans, some up and comers like yourself. How do you feel you match up with the rest of that division right now with the top 15? You know, I think it's, it's great because like you said, it's pretty new this division. So, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm down to fight anyone. I, I am a believer that if you want to be the champ, you have to face anyone. So um, it doesn't matter if they're in the top 10, 3, 15. I'm, I'm ready, and I'm going to be ready. So I don't have a particular name. I just want to climb, and I, I don't even have a rush, you know. I feel, um, and that's, I think, the advantage that I have is that I can take my time, you know, and I just want to give the best I can in each one of the fights but not rushing, oh, I need the belt, I need this. No, 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 I just need to go there and kill someone. So, yeah. You train at an incredible gym with Kings MMA, hoping to get back there tomorrow. So many great fighters and coaches at that gym. How important has your entire team been at Kings MMA to your career? What makes that a special team to be a part of for you? It makes total difference. You know, for me, the, the journey has to be enjoyable, you know, because fights happen really fast. You know, we're talking about something that happened two days ago or one day ago, I don't know. And uh, it ha it's really fast. So for me, the journey is really important. And I guess, and I feel, Kings MMA has made it super enjoyable. I, I learn every every single day. So yes, for sure, it changed my life. And I decided to stay in California because of that. You know, I come from a different culture. And just because of the gym, the vibe there, the people, the champs, masters, the coaches, everyone... I, I, now I can call this home. What have you learned the most since moving out to California? I know it's very traffic laden as we talked about, uh, off air via the Skype messenger. What have you learned the most about LA, about that area? And is it kind of a, was it kind of a culture shock at first for you? You know, the vibe in California, it's amazing. It's amazing. Of course, it's a little crazy in LA area. I don't live here. I live more on Huntington Beach. But uh, it's just the people. Everyone is super nice, fresh, and, and I kind of uh, adapt really easy to that. You know, it's, it's people are really easygoing. So, uh, yes, that's what I've learned the most.
<laughs> Sabina Mazzo joining the program. Incredible performance on Saturday at UFC 241. And as my friend, the great James Lynch, pointed out at the post-fight media scrum, tied for second in UFC history in terms of dominance on the judges' scorecard. So congratulations, Sabina. Before we let you go, and I'll let you go hang out with your family. I won't take up much more of your time. Let the folks know where they can find and follow you on social media. Any shout-outs, anything else you want to get off your chest, the floor is yours. Thank you. Well, thank you for the interview, for your time, and to spread the word in, from MMA. And uh, you can find me on social media, Sabina Maso, everywhere. Social media, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, yeah, to the fans, you know, the, because of them, we're here too. Great stuff, Sabina. Congratulations on the win. Enjoy the time with your family. You deserve it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.